The 49ers haven't spent a first or second round draft pick on a cornerback since 2002 when they took Shantae Spencer with the 58th pick. For the last 18 years, the 49ers have been drafting corners in the mid rounds or the late rounds or signing older, injured players uh, on the downside of their career. They've been sh shopping uh, bargain bin cornerbacks for 18 years. I'm saying now's the time to change that. Now's the time to draft a cornerback in the first round, specifically Florida corner C.J. Henderson at pick 13. Here's five reasons why. One, cornerback is the 49ers' biggest need. Not wide receiver, not guard, corner by far. Three corners on the team and three starters, Richard Sherman, Kaywan Williams, Akella Witherspoon, all free agents at the end of next season. Witherspoon's older, Kaywan Williams is older, Akella Witherspoon got benched last year, like multiple times, and he was hurt. And he kept getting chance after chance because his backup, Emmanuel Mosley, is a former undrafted free agent that the Niners don't seem 100% sold on, and for good reason. After playing eight, nine games uh, deep into the Super Bowl, he gave up the crucial catch to Tyreek Hill on third and 15 that pretty much broke the Niners' back. Do you feel comfortable with Emmanuel Mosley starting 16, 17 games next year plus the playoffs? I don't think the Niners do. I don't. Number two, the 49ers secondary is not good. It's not. It's the same exact secondary that was historically bad in 2018. That was the secondary that had two interceptions. That was a, that was a record, an NFL record. Nothing changed other than the pass rush. The Niners' pass defense is 100% pass rush dependent. Um which is fine until the pass rush gets tired the second half of the season or the second half of games, or if certain players get hurt and you lose depth. You can't just have a one-dimensional pass defense. You have to have coverage and pass rush. Three, NFL offenses are evolving. They're going more and more to spread formations, empty formations. That means just the quarterback alone in the backfield with five wides. One tight end, four wide receivers, five wide receivers. So what does this mean? How do, how do defenses have to re respond? Well, when you have five wide receivers and no tight end, no running back, you only have five offensive linemen blocking, the ball has to come out really quick. They can't block that long. They can't pick up blitzes. So it's a very quick passing game, which essentially negates your pass rush. If the quarterback's constantly throwing bubble screens in a second and a half or less, Nick Bosa's not going to be able to hit the quarterback. So that type of offense negates the strength of the 49ers defense. It also puts a lot of pressure on your corners because you got five wide receivers on the field. You, better ha you can't have enough good corners, and they're all getting uh, exposed in space. That's how NFL offenses are evolving, and that's how NFL defenses have to evolve to match it. More corners. You're seeing this with the Ravens, the Patriots. You can't just... Uh, pass rush a spread offense to death because they'll get rid of the ball too quickly. Four, need a high-level corner who can cover DeAndre Hopkins two times a year. The Cardinals just traded for DeAndre Hopkins. He's arguably the best wide receiver in the league. The Niners don't have anyone who can cover him. Richard Sherman stays on one side of the field. Emmanuel Mosley stays on the other. What happens when Hopkins goes over to Mosley's side? You, you trust Mosley in that matchup twice a year? Also, DK Metcalf. Really played well last year against the Niners uh, up in Seattle. Played him twice, averaged, if, if you prorate his um, production over a 16-game season, he'd have like 1,200 yards and 90 catches. That's what he did against the Niners. He's a handful, way too big and fast for Emmanuel Mosley. That's a tough matchup. That's a quarter of your schedule, Metcalf and Hopkins. What's your plan there? It's not Mosley. It's not Witherspoon. It could be C.J. Henderson. So number five. The reason I like C.J. Henderson, he's my favorite corner in the class. He's really fast. He's equally skilled in man and zone coverage. The Niners don't have anyone like that. They have a, guy, a bunch of guys who specialize in zone coverage and struggle in man. So a guy like Henderson, who can do both, would give Robert Sala so many more options. Um, he could call more coverages. He could call more blitzes. He could be more aggressive. Because blitzes really expose your corners. You're putting them on an island, so to speak. Uh, no safety help. They have to be able to cover long enough for the blitz to get there. And Salah really didn't feel comfortable doing too much of that last year. When he blitzed, it was more zone blitzes with 
a lot of guys coming from one direction and other guys dropping the other direction. On third and 15, the, the, the key play in the Super Bowl, third and long defensive coordinators usually blitz to force the quick throw. Salah didn't feel comfortable blitzing on that, on that play. He called standard cover three, very passive, and hoped and prayed that his pass rush would hit Patrick Mahomes before he could make the deep pass down the field. Pass rush didn't come through. You can't depend on a pass rush all the time. If they had C.J. Henderson, they could have blitzed, and C.J. Henderson could have covered Tyreek Hill one-on-one by himself for two, two seconds, long enough for the blitz to get there. Salah can't call a cover one blitz man-to-man with one safety in the middle of the field. When he does that, Richard Sherman gives up a 40-yard catch to Sammy Watkins. Sherman can't handle man-to-man coverage without, with just one safety in the middle of the field. Henderson can. Henderson would give the Niners defense many more options and take them to a whole different level. Draft Henderson at 13. 